My favorite horror villains of all time. Wow, what a hard list to put together. Hi guys, this is Josh with J Show Horror back again. Today I'm going to be telling you guys my all-time favorite horror villains. This list was really hard to put together for me, particularly the order of the list. It was really hard because horror is my favorite genre. They're, they We have a lot of great horror villains to go along with it. Uh, if you ask me on a different day, maybe my list would be interchanged a little bit. But this is my order as of today. But like I said, it was really hard to put this list together. And definitely hit that like and subscribe button if you love all things horror. This channel is dedicated to horror movies, so definitely subscribe if you love horror. Now I do want to give some honorable mentions before I get to my list. My first honorable mention is going to be Norman Bates from the Psycho series. Now I think Anthony Perkin plays him to perfection. I like Norman. He he's kind of can be charming at times, and then he flips to the other side of the coin. And I think Anthony per Perkin plays both sides of the coin very well and I do see Norman Bates as like a stepping stone from old old school horror into like the modern day horror 80s 90s 2000s horror he is definitely a stepping stone horror icon and he I respect him to death he's just not one of my all-time favorites ever so he had to get an honorable mention he's still a great villain Another honorable mention I have is Mick Taylor from the Wolf Creek series. I think this killer is great. I think the actor who plays him, he's funny at times, but he can still be sinister. And I think Mick Taylor is a very, very underrated villain. I don't think he gets near enough love, so I definitely had to throw him in my honorable mentions. And I will say the Wolf Creek movies are great. So for some weird reason you haven't seen Wolf Creek, definitely check those out. And Mick Taylor is a big highlight of those movies. All right, another honorable mention I have is Candyman, played by Tony Todd. I think Candyman is a great villain. He just never has been like my all all time favorite. He's up there pretty high, but I think if he had a better movie series overall, he might be a higher villain on my list. He has a great first movie, and Candyman with the hook and everything, and the bees and everything. Candyman actually scared me a little bit when I was a kid, so he definitely had to be an honorable mention. Now I want to give a shout out to Annabelle Ann Fallock, the nun from the Conjuring series. I think the Conjuring series is one of the better great modern horror series. It's uh, kind of an interconnected series. I think Annabelle is a great basically a modern horror icon i think she's kind of creepy looking she's been in uh, some great movies not all great movies but annabelle just the look of annabelle is scary and she has some great scary moments in her movies so she definitely is a modern icon in my eyes and the nun I loved Valak, the nun in Conjuring 2. I thought she was scary as heck in that movie. And of course, her own movie, it wasn't, she, it wasn't as great. But like just as a character, I think the nun, Valak, is scary as heck. And she definitely deserves an honorable mention. Now, my last honorable mention, I think this is a, in a lot of people all time's favorites. I just, I never been latched on to this horror villain as much as some of the other ones that's going to be on my actual list he deserves to have an honorable mention that is Hannibal Lecter particularly played by Anthony Hopkins in Silence of the Lambs he is such a great character the acting of Anthony Perkins in Silence of the Lambs he's pretty creepy he's just an insane character and he's a great great horror icon like but like I said he just isn't in my top top of all time but he's still great he's still someone I think about every once in a while as a great horror villain you use Evian skin cream. And sometimes you wear a lead at all. But not today. Now let's get into my top, I made it a top 12 list. Number 12, it is gonna be the Leprechaun. 
The leprechaun for me is was so scary as a kid. The leprechaun was the one, the guy who gave me nightmares. I don't know what it was. Was it Warwick Davies acting or what? But the leprechaun scared me to death. Now, nowadays as an adult, I think he's actually, the leprechaun's actually really funny. He's not scary at all. But for me, he'll always have like a place in my heart as the one who scared me to death and the one who gave me nightmares for like seven years. It Particularly the first movie, maybe that was the one that scared me the most, but even nowadays when I watch the first movie, he creeps me out a little bit. He doesn't scare me like he did when I was a kid, but there's still something creepy about the leprechaun. I don't know if it's Warwick Davis just giving an amazing performance or what. Even if his, his movie series hasn't been that great, I always thought the character of the leprechaun was great and the performance of Warwick Davis was awesome. So for me, the leprechaun will always have that little place where he scares the crap out of me, that little plate that he's a big little chunk of my life, about seven years of my life, where he gave me terrifying nightmares. So he definitely had to go on this list, even if not a lot of people love him, but he's still up there for me. So the leprechaun was my number 12. It sounds like we go. <laughs> it looks like we go. <laughs> it smells like we go. <laughs> Now my number 11, I'm gonna lump in the entirety of the Universal Monsters. I think all these monsters were great. You got the mummy, you got Frankenstein, Dracula, the Wolfman, the Invisible Man, the Bride of Frankenstein. Like all these awesome, awesome villains started out in the 30s and they were popular all the way to like the 50s. And they, for me, are like the beginnings of the horror movie. The And they're also like the first batch of the horror icons and the universal monster movies for me is like the first cinematic universe we got the marvel cinematic universe now this was like the first one because some of the movies were interconnected and like the look of Boris Karloff as a mummy is pretty freaky. And the black and white kind of adds to the creep factor of these villains. For me, they are the start of horror. And I don't think we would have had Freddy, Jason, Michael, any of those guys without the Universal Monsters. So they are very important in my eyes. And they are, a lot of those movies are great. And those villains are great. So I definitely had to put the Universal Monsters at number 11. Now let's get in my top 10 favorite villains of all time. Number 10, I'm gonna give it to Ghostface. One reason why I really like Ghostface is because in every single Scream movie, there are different people people underneath the mask. He's not like a supernatural killer that comes back to life over and over. In every movie, you got the added element of trying to figure out who the killer is, and the voice of Roger L. Jackson is played to perfection by him, and it's so creepy. So the voice on the phone to me is definitely part of the ghost, ghost face persona. I am two seconds away from calling the police. They'd never make it in time. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Now, Ghostface doesn't have a lot of great kills in the Scream series in particular, not like the other horror villains, but he, just like the, the mystery element, really adds to it. And I, I like the simple look of Ghostface and everything, the black robe, the, the actual face. So yeah, everything about him is great he just isn't up super high on my list because he just doesn't have as the exact same wow factor as some of the other ones but he still deserves to be on this list and of course the scream movies is like one of my favorite horror series of all time but yeah ghostface is pretty awesome so i still had to put him on this list coming in at number nine i'm gonna give it to jason Voorhees slash Pamela Voorhees. I do want to mention Pamela with Jason. Put them together because I do think Pamela Voorhees is a great horror villain that's a little bit underrated. Jason outshines her, of course, on the Friday 13th series, but without Pamela Voorhees, would we ever have gotten Jason? I don't know if we ever would have got him. I think Betsy Palmer really plays her very well. She very was really good at being the, like the caring mother, but also playing kind of like the crazy psychotic side to Pamela also. 
but of course Jason Jason is so cool I I really do like the the sack head Jason for part two but man that iconic hockey mask I mean that is Jason and I, would he have been as popular without the hockey mask probably not and Jason has definitely killed like the most people in any horror series he has killed so his body count is so super high it's probably the highest ever he has a lot of movies not all of them are great but I always like Jason and definitely towards the second half of the series I really start to root for Jason he's kind of more of a cool villain and everything so yeah Jason is an icon he will forever be an icon and where the heck is a new movie i know we got a show coming out but i want a new movie to go see in theaters and see jason on the big screen again and i love that he always he doesn't always kill with his machete he he does have a lot of uh quite a bit of different kind of kills different creative kills unlike ghostface jason is awesome now coming in at number eight i'm gonna give it to pennywise from the it series now i'm talking about both versions of pennywise i love both of them tim curry was awesome as pennywise he was still scary he was pretty comedic he's he's a little cheesy now compared to the remake but i still love tim curry as pennywise and then Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise was amazing and Pennywise is scary he's he can be funny at times he has some so many great moments in the remake I love that remake and Pennywise is just freaking scary to me I'm not really scared of clowns but when I think of clowns and horror movies Pennywise definitely is right up there as one of the greatest horror villains of all time definitely love Pennywise now my number seven is gonna be Chucky Tiffany I think they go great together I think Chucky was a great horror icon for the first three movies and then Tiffany showed up in Bride of Chucky and I I like her almost as much as Chucky I think they were awesome together in Bride of Chucky and Chucky has is like Chucky can be scary and comedic and Brad Dorf plays him to perfection he's he, he cusses he's got a dirty little mouth and he's just so funny and he definitely has like one of the best personalities of many horror icons and then you throw him with Tiffany and Tiffany just adds another great element to all the whole thing so like killer doll with a great personality unlike Annabelle she has no personality Chucky is so awesome and he's still going with the Chucky TV series so man this guy has been going strong for forever since the late 80s so I love Chucky and Tiffany. What would Martha Stewart say? Fuck Martha Stewart! Martha Stewart can kiss my shiny plastic butt! But my number six favorite horror villain ever is Pinhead. I think Pinhead is awesome. He's he's got like a one of the coolest looks out of any villain with all the nails coming out of his head, like the leather get up and everything. And I I'm even counting Jamie Clayton's Pinhead because she became a one a great version of Pinhead, like a new version of Pinhead. But Doug Bradley, I also think he jumps in the role of Pinhead and played him to perfection from the first movie and particularly even more the second and the third movies. He could be a demon, he could be an angel to some because he will show up, you open the box, he shows up and he could give you pleasure or pain. It's your point of view of what you're actually getting from him. So yeah, Pinhead Pinhead is definitely one of my favorites of all time. One of the coolest looking villains of all time. If he had a better t movie series, he would he might be number one on my list, but his movie series is kind of all over the place for me. But just him himself, Pinhead is awesome. And even Jamie Clayton's Pinhead is pretty cool too. So yeah. All right, now we're into my top five favorite villains of all time. Number five, I'm going to give it to the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. I freaking love this villain, especially in the first two movies. I don't really count three and four. The Creeper is so scary. He seemed kind of original when he, the movie first came out. He They did really good at keeping him in the shadows in the first half of the movie. So he, there was a lot of mystique to him. He You didn't know exactly what this creature was was you thought maybe he was kind of a, a man at first but you find out throughout the movie that he's a creature he's got wings he kind of kind of has gargoyle wings and everything and he comes back every 23rd spring to eat people to stay alive that's how he keeps leaving living he eats hearts and anything he needs to keep on living he'll sniff you to he'll sniff your fear to figure out 
if he wants to, what he wants to eat out of you and everything. And I just, the creeper for me has been, is one of the coolest villains ever. And I think he's also one of the most underrated villains ever. Two great movies, two pretty bad movies. He doesn't have like the amazing franchise that some other horror villains have, but just him himself as a villain, he's pretty freaking awesome. So I definitely had to give it to the creeper. He's awesome in my eyes. All right, number four, my fourth favorite villain of all time Michael Myers I love Michael Myers he's a silent killer he doesn't have the personality of some others but whenever he's kind of filmed and shot in a way I think he's very scary that pale blank white mask really does it for me I, even if his mask isn't perfect in all the movies particularly the first movie he I think Michael Myers was scary he's human but does he have kind of a supernatural edge to him like just based on the first movie he's got to be like one of the best horror icons ever and like I said, if you keep him in the shadows and you kind of keep some mystery to Michael you and everything, he is perfect. And I also love the version of Michael in Halloween Kills. That is one of my favorite versions of Michael himself. He's kind of more like the Jason Voorhees in Halloween Kills, but he was so badass in that movie, Michael Myers was, that he was awesome. James Duke Courtney is awesome as Michael. But yeah, Michael... He was one of my childhood favorites. He still is one of my favorites now. And like I said, with the, the pale, emotionless face, uh, like the, the speech Dr. Loomis gives in the first Halloween kind of tells you that he has no idea. He's just evil. He is just evil. He's human, but he's evil. And yeah, Michael Myers, I could go on and on. He's just, he's an icon and he's definitely one of my favorite icons of all time. So definitely had to get it to Michael at number Number four. All right, my number three, my favorite horror villain of all time, number three is Art the Clown. Now, this this villain, this this character has jumped up on my list. He wouldn't even been in my top 12 without Terrifier 2. I thought he was cool in the first Terrifier, but Terrifier 2 was like my favorite horror movie of 2022. And Art the Clown jumped up to one of my favorite horror villains of all time. If he can get another great one or two movies, he will. He could jump up on the list even more. There's so much mystique to Art the Clown. They added like a supernatural edge to Art the Clown and Terrifier fire too where can he die or can he not die you're not sure and just the look of art the clown he's pretty scary looking and you know the guy like behind that makeup is so psychotic i mean he like play, he likes messing with his the victims he's gonna kill before he kills them and Art the Clown will use any weapon. He'll, he uses a gun when he needs to use it. So he's a depraved, depraved character. And he definitely is one of my favorite characters of all time now. And it happened pretty fast. This two movies in and he's already my third favorite horror icon of all time. That's insane. He's just such an amazing character. He's got personality. He doesn't even have to talk to have that amazing personality. So yeah, Art the Clown was, is my third favorite horror villain of all time. All right, my second favorite of all time is Freddy Krueger. I think the main reason why, I think Freddy might have like the most personality out of any horror villain. He Freddy is super scary, especially in A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. That is the scariest Freddy has ever been. He's freaky. He still has some uh, great lines. And I think I really enjoy the mix of Freddy and Dream Warriors where he's kind of funny, but he's still scary at the exact same time. And like the burn look the striped sweater the the fidella hat the fact that he can go after you in his dreams just makes freddy so awesome like he just sticks out to me more than a lot of people and uh, i think a big reason is robert england asked freddy because he just plays him to perfection he jumped into that role and like i said at the early movies he's very scary and then if you want a very cartoony very comedic version of freddy you can watch the later sequels but just everything about him works for me and he is just such a fun fun villain too so yeah just love freddy where's his movie too we haven't had a jason or freddy movie in over 10 years what's going on yes freddy krueger is freaking awesome every town has an elm street 
but my all-time favorite horror villain is Jigsaw. Big reason I, why Jigsaw is my favorite. He is in my favorite horror series of all time. He is played to perfection by Tobin Bell. Tobin Bell gives so much to this character. I love the writing of Jigsaw. Jigsaw is... I guess you can say crazy, but he thinks he's helping people. He's putting people in traps to, if they survive, they will help them, that he will rehabilitate them, which he has a couple times. I think he did help a couple people throughout the series, but it kind of backfired. But in his eyes, he is like their savior. He is uh, making them appreciate life, maybe want to fix everything they've done wrong. So I, there's a lot, like especially the early part of the series, Series. Jigsaw is spectacular. The series is spectacular. He just seemed like a different villain. Like, and like how creative, how smart Jigsaw is. How he put these traps together and how all he wanted to do was save people, help them. That's all he thought he was doing. Of course, as the audience, we know he was just killing a lot of people. When he did save some people, some of them did make it out on the other end and they were better for it. Not a lot, but some. So his his philosophy kind of worked and Jigsaw had to appreciate his own life. He got cancer and he decided, hey, we I got to teach other people to appreciate their life because he got a new appreciation on life. But yeah, Jigsaw for me will probably forever be my favorite horror villain of all time. He didn't deserve a chance. He was an animal. Everybody deserves a chance. You didn't see the blood. You didn't see what he fucking did to her. Killing is distasteful to me. And yeah, that was my list of all my favorite horror villains. And that was such a hard list to put together. Like I said, like especially the order. Like I said, a lot of them can interchange. A lot of, I love pretty much all these villains. So it was just hard to put them in some sort of order, but I put them in order. But go down in the comment section below. Let me give, give me your favorite horror villains of all time down there and i'm not saying my list is right that's just my list i want to see what you guys say down in the comment section below and, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you love all things horror and i will be seeing you guys really soon i will see you guys next time bye guys